Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Baltasar Nation. So delighted that you could join us. Today's video is going to be a quick tutorial. I'm going to focus on a wonderful little utility app that's going to make life so much easier for you. In fact, I wish I had discovered this utility app during my early days of Batocera. In either case, this utility app will help you whether you're working with a large or small number of folders, scraping images, or video snaps. Best part, this utility app is absolutely free. Are you ready? Let's do it. so often I get a question or a comment about finding an easier way to convert a large number of folders and adding the extension .dos, .pc, or in some cases .ps3 for the PS3 games out there. Most recently, I received this comment from Diego Fernando Cejas. Hola Diego. Consequently, I was determined today to locate an easy to use utility that will allow us to do this as well as allow us to work with image files or video files. And of course, I wanted something that was free. Fortunately, after some extensive searching and testing, I finally came across the perfect utility app. And here it is. Bulk Rename Utility. And here it tells you all the different features that it has. Uh, and it turns out it is free, uh, but if you use it for commercial purposes, then you have to pay up, okay? But you can also support them by making a, a donation as well, okay? And I did that because like, find this app absolutely wonderful. Here's a download, and I will provide a link in my video description, okay? So go ahead and download that. Easy to install. Once you install it, go ahead and get up and running. And it looks like this. Now I know it looks really busy right here. It looks kind of complicated, but it really isn't. I mainly focus on a number of things. I focus on this one, replace, remove, add, and extension. Those are the ones I tend to focus on. And once you get the hang of it, it's really easy to use. So I've got three test scenarios, okay? I've got one, I'm gonna work with the folders. Uh, the second case scenario, work with image files. And the third case scenario, with the video snap. So let's go ahead, go with the first one. So here we have a number of folders. And I wanna make these compatible with Windows in Batocera. So to do that, just go ahead, go to extension right here and type PC. And then highlight them. Notice that you see that 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 dot PC is automatically added. Highlight all the folders that you want to add dot PC. And then you have this preview button right here. Before you do anything, just go ahead and click on that. And this is what I want. That's exactly what I want. And that's it. Rename. Okay. And it's done. Right there. Now then, suppose you thought to yourself, you know what, I don't really want a .pc, I really want it to be .dos, okay? So go ahead, back to extension, just go ahead and unselect that R, okay? You can remove that PC, and go to replace, and add .pc, and you really want .dos. Notice that. And then go ahead and select them all. You can either do preview if you want to, just to make sure, and then click on rename. And okay, done. See, easy, quite easy, all right? Let's go ahead and get out of this, and let's go ahead and open it up again. Let's go with test scenario two. So now I've got here a bunch of images. Let's say you got these images from another front end in Windows, like LaunchBox or BigBox, okay? And you have to have a certain suffix added to these files in order for it to work well with Batocera. So for example, I've got all these images here and I have to add thumb to them all so that I can use them in Batocera. So to do that, just go ahead and make sure that this is clicked on add and we want the suffix and we want the suffix dash thumb. And then go do the same thing, just go ahead and highlight them all. And it's done. See that? You want to go ahead and preview if you want to. Right there. That's exactly what I want. 
you can go rename. Okay, it's done. Or if you need them to have to say image, you can also do that as well. All right, let's go ahead and close this out. Go ahead and open it up again. This time I want to go to test scenario three. So here we have a number of video snaps, okay, that I need to use for about the setup. In fact, this is what I used originally. First thing I have is the dot MOV. If you try to put this about the setup, it will not read it. But fortunately, you can rename these to dot MP4 and it will read it successfully, okay? So let's go ahead and do that, all right? Go back to extension and just put MP4. If you highlight it, you can see that it's going to change it to MP4. And we also need to add the suffix dash video. And that's how about this ever read it. And do the same thing. Highlight it. Let's go here. Go back to the top. Highlight it. And it's done. Yeah. How awesome is that? Look at that. I wish I had discovered this much earlier. It would make my life so much easier. And go ahead, press and rename, and it's done. And there you go. Now these can be used in Batocera. Let me share one last tip so you can get these files recognized in Batocera. So let me go ahead and load up Batocera for you. All right, so we're in Batocera. Let's go in here quickly. Okay, so we got three different things. We got the image there in that screen right there with a suffix of dash image and of course the box art has a suffix of dash thumb and the video snap has a suffix of dash video and all those files as you know let's go ahead and get out of here they go in here it's called windows and they go in here right game list open that up so here's my image file it goes into the screen right suffix image the video snap suffix video and the 3d box art suffix thumb okay I didn't have to type all this stuff here in this uh, file right here there's an easier way to do that all right quit okay so here are the files you can see there okay suffix dash image suffix dash thumb and suffix dash video all contained within the same folder all right so instead of having to type all that information into the game list file, easiest way to do this, after you copy those files, go ahead and press start on your gamepad, go down to system settings, go down to developer, and from there go to, it says search, search, there it is, search for local art. Turn that on, okay? So if you got all those images in video snaps and that one folder images it will automatically find them without you having to have to type all that stuff into that file it makes life so much easier okay so that's exactly what I did uh, for this folder right here now then they have to type the games description as well as the locate the games manual right and I did that by just going in here edit games metadata and from there I went to right here to type the game description and the manual I was just able to locate it easily okay well that's a wrap if you found this video useful please go ahead and like it that would really help me out with YouTube's algorithms if this is your first time watching a video from Bato Center Nation then I highly encourage you to check out our YouTube channel as well as the website BatoCenterNation.com that will give you a great overview of what Batocera is all about and whether this will meet your emulating needs. Finally, I want you to know I've got a lot more videos coming up, so therefore please consider subscribing so that you'll stay on top of the greatest and latest of Batocera. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time on Batocera Nation. Bye.